What's good, y'all? It's your boy LB, man. I'm back in this thing, man. Very excited, man. Took a little hiatus, man. Cut my hair bald. But now I'm back, man. Now I just seen that the Pistons preseason schedule has been released. And I'm so excited, man. Uh, it's nice to know when basketball is going to be back around, especially for my Pistons. And it's looking like we're going to be playing the Brooklyn Nets at the Brock Lays at 7.30, um, October 6th. I'm very excited, man. I think the Brooklyn Nets is going to be one of the worst teams, if not the worst team in the NBA this upcoming season. So it would be nice to see my Pistons put the beat down on them guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you can't really, like I say, I really don't make too much of the preseason because there's a lot of guys out there, you know what I'm saying, fighting for a roster spot, starters and our bench players getting their condition up. You know what I'm saying? And just basically playing basketball for fun and getting prepared and getting ready for the regular season. So, like I say, don't don't make too much nothing. Don't make too much of none of this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, October 10th, we play the San Antonio Spurs. You know what I'm saying? I really, I really, I'm anxious to see what the Spurs is going to do this year. They added Paul Gasol. Um, they added a few more pieces. Um, I just want to see how they're going to look without Tim Duncan being on the team no more. I believe they're still going to be good because, you know what I'm saying, the system that Greg Popovich got in place, man, anybody can be successful in that system. So I'm anxious to see that, and I'm anxious to see how my team play against them. Um, I'm pretty sure the starters is going to get at least like six, seven minutes at it, and then they're going to get taken out, and the rest, the, the rest of the guys that's trying to make the team and the bench players are just basically going to play. So can't make too much of none of this, man. It's just preseason. But uh, next game, man. The Atlanta Hawks, October 13, 7.30 um, at their place. Very excited, man. Very excited. Um, I think the Atlanta Hawks is going to be one of those teams that's going to fall off this year. I think they're going to be fighting for the last roster uh, playoff spot. You know, they might not make the playoffs. Um, Dwight Howard don't wow me. I'm just being honest. I'm not trying to take no shots at none of no Atlanta Hawks fans. I'm just telling y'all the truth and giving y'all my opinion. I don't think Dwight Howard is going to do nothing special for y'all, but if he do, y'all can come on here and bash me all y'all want to. That's my promise. I won't be mad, I swear. Um, like I say, man, I think we're going to beat this team too in the preseason. Um, so we'll be 2-1, and one, if not 3-0 and oh in the preseason. Like I say, this preseason don't matter. I'm just saying. Um, I just think my team is going to be the shit. You know what I'm saying? Our bench, our starters. I just think we're going to be the shit. Uh, next game, man, Philadelphia 76ers. Another team that's going to be one of the worst teams in the NBA. Yes, they're going to improve. They're going to win more games because they got um, Jaleel Okafor coming back hopefully healthy. They got uh, Joel Embiid. He probably going to produce if if he ain't, if he don't get injured before the regular season start. Then they got Ben Simmons. So they're going to be, they're going to win some more games, but they still going to be a horrible team. I see a future for this team in like two years. They might be doing something in two years, but until then, uh, Philadelphia fans, Philly fans, y'all just got to sit tight. We sat tight. I sat tight through the rough times with the Pistons, and I slowly seen them build this team up into what it is now. You know what I'm saying? So just sit back, and um, hopefully, hopefully, in the near future, y'all team will be back in the playoffs. Uh, next game, October 17th against the Milwaukee Bucks at the Palace. Now, I can't wait to, uh, for us to play this team. I think this these two teams are going to be rivals for years to come, man. I want to see how Chris Middleton... Is going to play against us. He always come up and, sh and play big against us. Greg Monroe, if he's still going to be on the team, I want to see how he's going to play. I want to see Thor Maker, see what he about, and see um, our rookie go up against him, Henry. See him go up against him and see how that, how, how that play out. I think he's going to be a good player for years to come. I think it's going to take him about two years. Talking about Thor and Ma um, Maker, I think it's going to take him a couple years, and then he's going to be a monster. And I agree with King. He does remind me of a younger KG. Um, and I think we're going to win this game, too. Uh, don't underestimate the Milwaukee Bucks, man. They coming, they coming, they coming. You know what I'm saying? Um, they had a down year, but they can bounce back. And a lot of people don't got them making the playoffs, but they possibly can get in, man. They they're gonna have a um, they're gonna have a few shooters over there now. They got um, Talanovic and a couple more guys they didn't add it, so they're gonna be pretty good too, man. Then the last game, October 19th at the Palace against Toronto. We gonna come through y'all shit. <laughs> With our woes, and we're gonna kick down y'all shit like hey, side off. But uh, we're gonna be welcoming the six gods, quote unquote Drake, I guess, uh, to the palace. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to see this, um, uh, this game, man. Um, 
As you guys know, Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan is playing in an Olympics game. I want to see if they're going to come into the season ready to go or if they're going to be tied, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're still preseason, but I'm, I'm anxious to see how Toronto going to do this year, man. Uh, who they add? They add uh, Seliger. You know what I'm saying? I'm anxious to see how he's going to fit in into this um, team. They got a couple bench pieces. They got a, they still got a nice team, so they didn't lose much when they lost um, Bismack. They ain't lose that much. I'm just anxious and ready for some basketball to come back around. Uh, we ain't going to have to wait that long. It's already August, so we got like four weeks left to go. And, hey, the Pistons going to be back on the road, man. Let me know how y'all guys feel about how you guys feel about this uh, preseason um, schedule that's been released. Like I said, you can't make too much of it, but I'm very excited. Which game y'all looking forward to see? You know what I'm saying? And if y'all going to a game, let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh... I think it's going to be a, a, a good year in the NBA once the NBA is going to finally start getting back good once they stop sucking LeBron James and the Warriors dick. You know what I'm saying? They've been sucking these, these two teams dick for so long. It's time for somebody else, a new up and coming team like my Pistons to kick in the fucking dough and take over the division and take over the fucking conference. I'm sick of seeing LeBron James in the fucking finals. We need a new team, man. And I think the Pistons can get it done, man. You know what I'm saying? I think the Boston Celtics is going to be good, too. I ain't going to leave y'all out. I think they're going to be pretty good. Um, I still think we got a better team than y'all. You know what I'm saying? But who knows? We're going to see. We're going to see this upcoming season. Um, who else, man? Russell Westbrook. He just signed a deal. I think $85 million for three years, three or four years or some shit like that. <laughs> That's what's up to him. Salute to him for getting that new contract. Um, like I say, man, I see them making the playoffs, but I don't see them being a a feared team no more because they don't got KD no more. I think they're going to be a good team. They probably can win a playoff um, series or so. But other than that, I believe these two games, we're going to play them in a regular season. I believe we're going to kick in their shit once again, and they ain't going to have KD, so make it all the better. You know what I'm saying? But well, it's your boy LB, man. I'm going to head on up out of here, man. I got to go check up on this um, – Lions shit, man. Trying to count, read up on that. I seen go to take on the news earlier. Uh, the Tigers lost, but I'm not worried about that. You know what I'm saying? Jordan Zimmerman, he looked horrible out there. He the reason we lost, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. We're going to bounce back. I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm glad we got this winning streak out the way. So the pressure, we ain't got to have all that pressure on us no more. We can just continue to win and just go on to the playoffs and hopefully go to the World Series. But it's your boy LB. Like this video if you like it. Um, if you don't, dislike it subscribe to your boy i'm gone salute i feel like i'm the realest <laughs> side off but shout out to all my uh detroit versus everybody click um shout out to everybody that fuck with your boy man shout out to everybody man all y'all man thanks for supporting me man i really appreciate this shit uh so like i say man i made this video because i haven't been showing my face because i had a fucked up hairdo haircut you know what i'm saying i'm starting over doing my shit the right way this time and um yes i do have a hairline Yes, so I'm not bald no more, you know what I'm saying, so, like I say, man, your boy gonna be back in effect, I'm gone, man, free my mama, shout out to all my Warren guys out there that's getting money, that's, um, staying out the way, staying out the bullshit, positive vibe this way, get out the streets if you can, man, fuck the streets, the streets is not nothing, uh, get a job or something, man, work for what you want, you know what I'm saying, and, um, keep your head up, man, um, if you're feeling down, man, Find something that'll brighten, brighten up your day, man. R.I.P. to all the people that we lost this year. And um, it's your boy LB, man. I'm gone. Salute, man. 100.